This game's programming was done right on an iPad. Plus, we get to show you a whale tail. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at an app a day to keep your iPad in play. I'm holding onto this monitor because it didn't go the right direction because this was a portrait style game. So I'm, I'm holding onto it to make sure it doesn't fall over. But anyway, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks for coming to the show. We do this show every single day. Today is Thursday. It's Productivity Thursday. And we've got a great application here that we're going to show you. If we're going to start with the game, and the game is called CargoBot. Now, first of all, I want to let you know, you can find me over on Twitter, over at iPad365. You can also find me uh, via email, iPad365show at gmail.com. Now, with that said, let's get into today's game. And like I said, I'm holding on to the monitor because the monitor stand would turn one way, but it wouldn't turn the other way, which was kind of sad. I might be able to break in there and, and actually fix that so I can get it the right direction. It wouldn't flip around. Anyway, at any rate, we've got this game here. And the reason why we're going to show you this game is not because of this program, although it's a pretty cool game, it's because of another program. We're going to start with this. This is called CargoBot. And basically what it is, is a game that lets you, and this is sideways for me, uh, lets you figure out a way to move boxes by using a series of programmed plants. Here's, here's how it works. We'll go to Cargo 101. So basically you have this box and your job is to take this box and go from one platform to the next platform. It's already programmed in it for you. It tells you to hit the down button, the right button, and the down button. So we'll hit the play button. It goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. And you've cleared out the level. You keep doing this, you, you um, go to the next level, of course things get a little bit more difficult. And basically what you do is you program it. So what would I would do is I would take this arrow here and I'd move it over here into program two. Now if I wanted program two to run, I'd actually use the program two button and then put that into, into the scheme, into the uh, program, I guess you could say there. And of course, that would totally mess everything up. It's going to go around, it's going to move it over, and then it's going to tell it to go to program two. Now, since I didn't tell it to do anything, it just kind of finished it up and, and ignored it. But if I went to replay it again, and instead I took this out and moved it over here and did this, actually, we'll take this out completely. Now it's going to go through program one, down, over, then it's going to go over to program two and go over, and then over, and then down which should probably give you the exact same result. Pretty cool game, it's called CargoBot. Now, when we come back, we're gonna talk about how we made this game using software that we can get right from the iPad. All right, so we've played this nice little game. It was a lot of fun and many different levels, but the coolest thing about it was it was all created on an iPad. It was coded via the iPad, and that's through this program. It's called Codea, and Codea is simply a programming language that you basically buy the programming language, puts it on your iPad, and you can create projects. Like, for instance, they have a couple example projects here. The first one we've got is the roller coaster. You click on it, you'll see all the script, I can go through the script, I can actually change the script. But when I want to play it, I'll just hit the play button. And it'll go through, and I'll say tap to begin, which I do, and it then gives you a roller coaster. Now what's really cool, you can create shapes like the, the, the little crates that we saw in the cargo box. And we can make them move around, we can do different things. I know somebody, I think I have it loaded here, somebody actually took and created a drawing program right here. There's a nice one called Sprightly. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the exact same one where I can create a new image right from here, a sprite image, and I can name it and I can move it around so on and so forth. So th there's a big rich community that's building up from this iPad editing software that lets you, helps you figure out your codes and stuff like that. Now let's go back here. We'll close this out and uh, thought here's another one. Here's a nice little brick game where you have the ball and, and you basically move around the little uh, little paddle and then uh, the ball hits and, and breaks all the bricks. Kind of nice there. Let's check out and see what other... There's some other great games and you can actually take some of this. Here's a nice fractal design game. Or not game, but a program. That actually gives you a nice fractal design. And of course, there's, there's many different things you can do. So you can go to the community and you can get a whole bunch of ideas 
to bring into your idea and uh, create your own iPad programs there. Once again, the name of the program is called Codea. You can find it in the App Store. It's not free, it's like $10. But if you're getting ready to build iPad apps, this might be a great one. One thing to note, it's not fully functional. Like for instance, you wanna import a picture. I don't think that Codea can do it. They have it slated for a future enhancement. But right now, you can't put pictures. I don't think you can put video or RSS feeds in there just yet. But as time goes by, I have a feeling that this program, programming language will be able to do stuff like that. Okay, so I've been playing with this new little item right here. I was telling you about the whale tail. And that's what this is. It's a company called Okta. You can get the box right here. Okta. And the idea is it's a suction cup that fits on the back of your iPad. Now, the cool thing is I didn't have to get rid of my iPad case. I didn't have to take it off. I could actually, I can actually put this right here, right onto the iPad case and have a little bit of protection. Here's how it comes out. You start with this, it, it comes out in two pieces. These are the two, two pieces. You have the ball, which works great in its own right, because then you can cup it and you can hold onto your iPad kind of like that. So it's great for uh, waiters or anybody that has to use their left hand, maybe have a stylus, maybe a painter or something like that. It works pretty well because you, you don't hold the iPad like this anymore. You're holding the iPad, uh, what I like to believe, a little bit more ergonomically, even though I'm not an ergonomic person, I guess. So anyway, uh, so you have the little ball here and you have the whale tail. Now, here's how it works. You basically have this little centerpiece. You push down on the centerpiece. It's a little rubber piece that you can just pop out right there. And then you have a little piece of metal, which conforms to the plastic over here. So you bit, there's a little dot right here. You line up the little dots and you turn. Now this becomes your stand. And of course, this is a little bit adjustable. So if you need a higher stand or a lower stand, you can adjust it and get, go from there. It's great because when I was sitting down on the couch, I actually had this tail like right here and then I could, could reconform it so the iPad set up straight. So I could actually have it on my lap and have it at an angle like this, which was really cool. Now it's to, to fix it is very straightforward. All you have to do, I'd line up the top here with the top of the iPad, push it down, and then just squeeze on the suction cup. And of course, it's nice and fit. You keep uh, going down, then he runs out of air, and then, of course, you've got a really nice handle for your iPad. And once again, with the tail, it makes it makes nice uh, so you can hold on to it a little bit better and maybe wrap it down a little bit. There you go. And if, like I said, if you're using this as a ca your cash register, you can walk up to a table and you can take their order. Or if you're an artist, you can draw like this or you get your hand gets a little bit tired. You kind of bring it down and continue from there. You're writing a book. You're doing whatever you're doing. This is a nice little item. I can see myself using this uh, at places like uh, uh, the events that I go to, like Blog World or South by Southwest. So the name of the pre this, uh, this little device here is called Okta. You can find it right now. We'll get you a link in the show notes where you can get yourself an Okta. And that's today's episode. My name is Jeffrey Powers. What'd you like? Did you like the Okta? Does it work for you? How about the Cargo Bot and the Kodea? Those are some great programs. If you've created some programs using Kodea, let me know and I'll take a look at them and we'll talk about them on an iPad 365. That's the whole idea. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you in 24 when it will be another iPad 365. You guys geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.